Hello friends, welcome into my channel today. My name is Sherry, I'm so glad you could join me in my craft room today. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I thought we would have a little bit of a play. I'm working on putting together a tall, skinny document style journal. And I think we can probably get the signature sewn in uh, today and maybe even start on some ephemera. So I do want to jump right in. This is a kit from Rachel at Roxy Creations. It's her junk journal. I think it's called the document style and it's kit number seven. Let's just get started. As you can see, I made a tall cover with Amazon packaging and material. And I've put on the Tim Holtz corners and I've also made a topper for it. These are images from Rachel's kits as well, layered on there. And I thought that came out pretty cute. Put in some um, eyelets and some black fabric for the tie. This does measure, if you're wondering, mine is about 11 and a half by four and a half. I don't know. I've seen them done at 12 inches, but this is just a size mine ended up. So I want to show you the kit first of all, but I'm going to get this out of my way. Uh, the kit, and then I'll show you the background pages that I printed out. And I also have some avocado dyed paper and some coffee dyed paper available and ready to use if we need. And a couple of other fun little elements. So this is, <coughs> pardon me, one of the kit pages. The pages are not backed. So that's where we'll be putting probably a lot of our either writing spaces or ephemera, but it'll, it'll come together however we decide to do it. I just think this is such a cute, pretty kit. And in all honesty, this is not the first tall journal I've done, tall skinny journal, but it is the first one I've done on my channel. So this, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun to do. I believe there are eight pages in the kit. Again, that's kit number seven from Roxy Creations. I think it is her newest, uh, and that's on Etsy, Roxy Creations on Etsy. I think this is her newest Christmas kit because I debated between number six and number seven, and I ended up choosing, okay, I think I've gotten into the past Christmas. Okay, yeah, those are the Christmas pages, and now these are just the background pages that I printed off of her shop as well. I think they'll go beautifully in this kit. They'll tie in just fine. They're not Christmassy, but I don't think that matters. I think they'll work just fine because all of her kits go together so well. Don't know that we'll use all of these. I'll try to keep to about 15 pages, plus some extra little just goodies that we decide to put in along the way. But those are the two kits that we'll primarily be working with. I also pulled, so this is kind of fun. This is a copy. I ended up with my mom's, it's not, she had many ledgers, but for some reason this is the only one I have or can find. Um, and this is her actual, some of this is my writing because it was when I started helping her with their um, finances before they passed. But all of this writing here, most of it at least, except some of this was my writing. But that's all my mom's original writing as she got older. So it was very shaky and it wasn't her normal writing. But I thought that would be fun to put in here as well. I really don't have... Oh, ancient old documents or anything like that. So that's why I said it's a document style, but it's not made with true documents, so to speak. And then I just have a music page 
and then a blank page from um, the same ledger that I got that was my mom's. And then we may just pop up in some old book page. I have some old books as well. Where did I put those? Yeah, I did an altered book that I made for my ephemera holder. And so the, the guts of this are in here. And I thought maybe we could pop in a couple of those pages. I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's a Washington Monument, I see. Oh, that's really cool. Really cool paper. Huh, didn't even see that in there before. The book is called Theodore Roosevelt. I don't know that there are any pictures but we could certainly pop in oh here's another one of these oh that's really cool senate chambers so yeah i thought that might be kind of, wow big old index look at that i thought that might be kind of fun to pop in an old page or something like that so just pull one of those out and see what we come up with so I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. It is a beautiful day here where we live. Um, we are in California. This thing is really starting to bug me because it's getting so thick. I don't know if I can get it off of there. That's just my glue pages. Um, yeah, we live in California. We're in the Eastern High Sierras. Our temps, oh, I don't have my watch on today. Can't really wear my watch and my brace. Tell you guys, getting old is not for the faint of heart. I threw my back out two days ago making my bed. I've got arthritis in my thumb, so that's been flared up. So I'm going to try to get through this video wearing my brace if I can. If I can't, I'll take it off. But, you know, I'll tell you what. Just getting old no fun. Anyway. Let's go ahead and get into these pages. You know what I wanted to do is decide which one I want in the very beginning. I really like this one because I love the stag. And I will be sewing around some of these. So what I'll do is I will stop, you know, I'll, I'll essentially not sew on camera with you, but um, I'll sew and then come back. <clears throat> I'm sure this will take a few videos to get through this, but um, anyway, I think I really like, I really like this one. I'm really drawn to this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew around this one. I need to find a place for my water. I'm gonna sew around this one and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I decided to go ahead and sew around to start with <clears throat> a four of the eight of the Christmas kit pages. So that'll just be a good little, where did I put my scissors? A good little start for us. And we'll go ahead and get our, sort of our layout of, we know we want, this is the first page. And I'm gonna kind of stagger because I want the pages that are sewn around to be like every other. So we would go like maybe that one, like this one, and then maybe we could do, do this one. And then do this one. And then this one. And this one. And this one. And this one. Then this one. Because it's really not going to matter what order you put them in. I just thought it might be kind of fun to stagger those that way. And then I may also stop and sew around a few of the other background pages. So we've got this one folded and ready. This one is not folded. 
I mean, yeah, not folded and not sewn. Okay, so let's stick that in there. This one is sewn but not trimmed up. I love the texture that the sewing gives to the pages, the tags, the journal cards, the pockets. I may ink around a little bit of these too, just because I'm kind of feeling like that might really be pretty to do. So, oh, of course, start filming. There goes my dogs. I may have to shut the door here in a second. You know the, you know how that goes around here. If you've been around my channel any length of time, you know that my doggies like to bark. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's make that the middle one. Fold this guy like this. I should have sewed. Let's make this guy the middle one. No, because then we have to go two in a row. I don't think my whatever equal brain would be able to do that. Make this one the center one. However, it would have been pretty to have been sewn around, wouldn't it? do a special stitch on this one and I'll be right back and we'll just have two together that are sewn on. Okay guys we're back and I went ahead and did this fun little stitch. It's actually a leaf pattern stitch but I also think it looks kind of like um, little Christmas lights. Strings of Christmas lights so I like that one. I use that one a lot. So that is going to become our center. So very well. We've got eight pages and lots of lots of thread running around. I hope I don't kill my vacuum cleaner when I clean up later. Oh well. All right. So that's looking pretty cool. And I thought maybe we could come in with. Let's see. What would we want to do after this? Let's take a look. That would be pretty that would be a pretty one right there we'll have a lot of white because I did not back these but there are ways around that so so eight this will be a one signature document style journal I really should call it just a tall skinny journal but you know how that goes. And then maybe we could put in some book page. Yeah, let's pop in a book page. Comes my doggies. Nope, there goes one. Mr. Max. Mr. Max is on the loose. You know what I didn't grab yet? It was a doily. Let's see what we could put there. That would be kind of pretty there. It's got some of the similar blue as does this one. Oh, yes, let's do that one instead. Okay. That one can go, that almost looks like it has stitching around it already, just the border. Well, I hope you're having an all, I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Um, I'm having a pretty good day. It's kind of nice. It's the first day, little break this week that I didn't have my littles. So I'm able to get a little bit done, but I'm not doing too much because of my back. One, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Ten. Perfect. Let me grab something right quick. Okay. All right. I don't have one tall doily. So what I'm going to do is just do two together on one page. Oh, make sure I'm getting that. 
so hard to tell which is the right side and which is not the right side of a doily. So where should we put these? Got that. Put these here. That would be pretty. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad, would it? Well, no, it's okay. It's got a little blue on here and it's got some blue there. So that's fine. Draw doilies. We could come in and find another kit page we might want to put there. Background page, I should say. Nice thing about the digitals is once you print them off, you just go back and print as many as you want because you've got the download. I'm thinking nothing really has. Let's do this one. Some of these got chewed up in my, my cutter. Oh, and I do want to apologize, you guys. I'm sorry. If you saw my last video, it was ridiculous how many times my head was in the shot. I don't know what was going on with me. I really don't. It was ridiculous. But again, I apologize for that. I really do. <laughs> So I'm trying very hard today not to get my head in the background. This is what we're left with for our backgrounds. If we wanted to put one there, or I'm, and I may have to cut this down just a little bit. This is mom's. Yeah, let's cut it down just a little bit. It's got to come down. Just a little, just a little bit. It's going to cut a little bit of that. Okay, I'm going to shut my door. So let's put mom's ledger here. I also always like to stick in, here comes my arm though, a coffee dyed bag so let's see we've still got music sheet and one more blank because we were getting pretty close although i don't really count these so a lot of times i do end up with more than 15 pages just one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so we're still doing good. Let's maybe come right here with this is going to have to be trimmed down too. I know. Actually, it's going to have to be trimmed. It's going to have to be trimmed here, here, and here. Here and here. <clears throat> Let's see if my cutter can handle it today without ripping anything to shreds. We'll see. What side did we put our marks on? Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey, <laughs> where did I put up? Okay, guys, tell me. I made marks. Oh, there they are. I made a mark right here, I can see. Right? And, okay, there it is. Thank you, I see it now. And I made a mark right there. Nope, didn't chew it up. We did good. I got lucky. 
Okay. Just make sure we've got the music going the right direction would be a good start. And if we need to cut anything down, we can still do so. Got that. Got the music paper. And we could put this one more just piece of regular ledger paper in right before the middle. And again, I have to cut it just a tiny bit. I have a lot of white to cover up, aren't I? But that's okay. We'll do it. No big deal. We'll get her done. Okay, I think that's might be about as much as we're going to want to put. I know this is kind of redundant, but let's count again. If we can, that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We might be able to stick in one more got background Christmas background Christmas Christmas maybe we could do one more background before that this is a beautiful page well, they're all beautiful, but just trying to see which one might go the best. Maybe just this more neutral one. I'm gonna stick those aside. Did I not? Oh, yeah, I did. I was gonna say, I didn't think I took the border off of that one, but I did. Right. Oopsie, got out of frame, sorry. Is that what I was thinking? No, what was I thinking? I was thinking right there. And I actually think I like that better because it does not, the doilies don't cover up Santa. We're going to be good there. One more checker. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I want to count that. Yeah, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. If I didn't count those other two, I could possibly put two more, which would make it 17. You know, I don't know. Let's just use them. We got them. I can print more out. Let's not overthink this. We've got plenty of decoration to use. <clears throat> this is the thing about building a journal. It's a lot of just back and forth. If you've ever done, if you've never done one before, it's just a lot of kind of thought, thoughtfulness going back and forth. Let's do that one here. I really like these pages, so I want to use them all. Since they're Rachel, this is going to be our Rachel document style journal. There. And then that 
one would be pretty right here. I love this one. I'm going to put it this way. And if we get to the point where we don't use any of these others, we can collage with them. end up making fat sew journals. Okay, then we'll do this one. Okay. Perfect. We've used them all. We've used the kit pages and we've used the background pages. I think everything looks good and I think we're ready to sew our signature in. Just need a quick check to make sure Nothing needs to be adjusted. Those are good. And our sack is fine. That was really all the only little extras we put in. Okay, so guys, let's get this signature sewn in. Hey, we're making progress. Get my, my book over here. And we will be doing a three-hole pamphlet stitch. I've got to get out my awl and my thread. I do not have black thread. So, there's my awl. And these are our choices. Not many. I wish I had black, but I don't. So... We possibly will be covering it up anyway, and this is the darkest, so I think we can get away with this one. So we're gonna need to do one, two, come on, three lengths of your, the length of your journal. needles out at the ready and what I like to do once you get it all smooshed down there together is get it right about equal right about where your top and your bottom are pretty well the same distance from the end this one is pretty close I don't have a lot of a lot of lot of difference. So I need to get four and two, three, four of these. I take and I clip. Make sure you're going the right way so you're not putting anything in upside down. I like to clip as close as I can to the spine. getting in there pretty tight guys pretty tight well it's almost the weekend it's Thursday as I'm filming you will see this on Friday crafty fun crafty fun Friday I think that's what I'm calling them hashtag crafty crafty fun Friday but it will be the document style journal okay so now let's get a needle. I still have a bit of fussy cutting to do um, as well. So that's why I know we're not going to get too awfully far today. But at least we got, um, I pre-made the cover. You got to see the kits that we're using. And you get to, we get to sew in the signature. So all right, I like to go about the middle. So five and three quarters is about the middle for me because I know about, I know it's 11 and a half inches. So five and three quarters. Oops, sorry, I just dropped my off. Good thing I didn't, <coughs> excuse me, drop it on my foot. I know I'm out of frame for just a second, sorry. Okay. 
All right, so I'm gonna call this right about the middle. It does not have to be perfect. Poke it and then push it through. Sometimes it takes a little bit because I've got double two things of Amazon packaging sewn around and then glued together. And then I come down about an inch or so. Again, just make sure you get it pushed through really well. And again, about an inch from the bottom, straight down, out as much as you can. And then I like to start mine. I go through the center. And I'll ties her in the way. Through the center and out. You could go uh, to the top hole next or you could go to the bottom. I generally tend to go to the bottom one, but it's personal preference at this point. I think that's my hole there, yep. Hold on. It went. It went awry on me somewhere. Sometimes things shift slightly. Nope. Sometimes they go right in. There we go. And sometimes they don't. And don't forget when you're doing this, your little tail here, you're going to want to give it a little bit of tension. Just hang on to it. You don't need to hold tight. Do pull tight enough that when you come back through your center, you don't split your thread. So you're wanting to come up just the other side of what you've already done. Perfect. Okay. Had I had black thread on this one, I would have used it, but I did not. And now, sometimes on these darker fabrics, it can be a little bit hard to see. Is that my... And it doesn't hurt. Sometimes if you're in doubt, just come back in, push your all through again, and then that'll make your hole a little bit more visible to you. And you just have... Oh. There's so many pages in here, it sort of wants to go cattywampus on me. But we'll get it. There we go. Okay. So now we're all the way through. And we just sort of want to give it, give it a good pull, but don't tear your paper. Just make sure that your little piece of um, binding is tight on the outside and this little tail is on this side so you want this little tail to go on the opposite side and you're going to take and just give it a little pull i do two knots i'm not going to tie this in a bow because i'm hoping i can find some charms that will i can tie on the ends of those so there we have it our signature is in I didn't do a sewn in pocket, so we'll have to get a little bit creative with that when we decide to do that. Um, do put your stuff away so that you don't lose your pins and hurt yourself. Oh, I have to go start making some um, potato leek soup for dinner. And I'm going to do a salad with it. And I've got a really good recipe for homemade blue cheese. It's kind of a secret recipe. Um, a girlfriend of mine used to work, I, I know I've told you before in other videos, but she used to work at a local um, Italian restaurant that is no longer here in our little town. Um, but she worked there uh, and they were famous for their blue cheese dressing. And she knew the recipe in bulk so she can't she told me when she gave me the recipe i can't tell you the proportions because when we would make it of course we would make it in bulk so trying to make it just for for us i've had to just sort of fudge it around and see what i could do but anyway um, i'm gonna make a salad with the homemade blue cheese and some potato leek soup for dinner yeah i thought that sounded pretty good because i've got potatoes and i've got leeks 
All right, guys, I think this is turning out really, really cute. Do a quick little flip through. We'll think of something for our pockets. We've got plenty. I love the texture that the sewing does. If I ever got my act together and sewed more ahead of time, I would probably sew more pages, but that's usually not the case. So, um, yeah, I think this is going to be adorable. I will work on getting the rest of the ephemera and everything cut out so we can start decorating it and getting some pockets and tags and tucks and journal cards in here. Really sweet. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today. We'll continue on this again probably next week. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Have a wonderful weekend if I don't see you before then. And I will see you again in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.